This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... PBS. Interesting, well-produced programming coming from a government? The BBC. Same story. More recently, RT out of Russia and Press TV out of Iran. They all do a, a fairly decent job, not necessarily of being objective, but of producing well-produced content. And this leads me to a theory. Well, I call it the Sergi Eisenstadt theory. Am I saying his name right? If not, I guess we could always call it the Linear Riesenstahl theory, although I may not be saying that right either. Anyway, Eisenstadt, <laughs> pronunciation not verified, and Riesenstahl, pronunciation not verified, were skilled film propagandists for the Soviet and Nazi regimes, respectively. And both of them are studied in film classes, some of the best filmmakers uh, you'll run into. And I think what happens is the government is really bad about doing a lot of things efficiently, but if you are an artist, or at least a film type or video production type artist, I think you're just driven, uh, and you don't need a profit motive to go out and produce good work. I, I found that really, I guess, looking into my own life back when in the early 90s when I was a news videographer, you know, the paycheck uh, and job security was almost separate from the issue of, I want to get good video. I just feel it. I got to do it. It was in my blood. And I think the same is the case for filmmakers and uh, videographers and news producers who work for state-run outlets. They just get a charge out of interesting wordage, interesting video. It's fun for them. It's almost like paying someone to play video games. Whether, you're, <laughs> whether you've got competition or not, you're going to have a lot of fun and work really hard at it. But it's not work. This uh, this phenomenon, or whatever you want to call it, is a, uh, another reminder of uh, of how how much humanity our adversaries have, and how much capability they have. If we can look like look at someone you know like Eisenstadt or Riesenstahl and uh, appreciate their work at least for its artistic value, then we can look at the BBC and the, the federal uh, media outlets, Voice of America, uh, PBS to some extent. Maybe we can relate to them on a less shrill basis. Hello. Actually, I haven't really seen that much shrill directed against the feds in New Hampshire yet. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? FreeKeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit FreeKeen.com to see what's happening. FreeKeen.com Hooks you up with all the Liberty Media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keen, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. FreeKeen.com